Christmas came early for Wargaming New. Battletech Alpha Strike, the new starter from Catalyst Games. This is going to be a great way to get into Alpha Strike. As you can see, there's quite a bit that comes in this starter. You get 13 miniatures, 40 page rule book, 24 page novella, a 16 page universe primer. You get 13 Alpha Strike cards, 13 Mech Warrior cards, 25 Battlefield support cards, which is something new. You also get one heavy stock reference sheet, two punch boards of trees and game counters, which is nice. Nine small fold-up cardstock buildings, six large fold-up cardstock buildings, and two six-sided dice. It's a lot of stuff coming in, into this box set here. It's a lot more expensive than a game of Armored Combat because it does come with a lot more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. As we open the box here, you're going to see the novella. Chaos Theory. It's a new story, I'm going to assume. This has not been released before uh, with any of the other box sets. You're going to look at your 13 miniatures here that are kind of spread across both clans and inner sphere. You're going to have your Baltech support cards, which is something that's new uh, with this set here. You're going to have rolls. We'll take a closer look at that in a little bit. You'll have your Mech Warrior cards, obviously. And we'll also take a closer look at that. All your uh, Alpha Strike cards, your two six-sided dice, you remove the uh, plastic tray here, you get a lot of other goodies. Here's your Battletech primaries. This just introduces you to the world of Battletech. You have your quick start rules. So um, nice, like heavier type of cardstock, nice glossy pages. So it is heftier. Uh, and it's a uh, pretty nice looking um, quick start rules uh, guide here to get you into the game. You can see a number of cardstock buildings and that's what's wonderful about this. Uh, and we'll take a closer look at all this. That um, this set comes with terrain. Uh, obviously, uh, Alpha Strike is played on a regular map rather than a hex map. And terrain is key in a game like that. You have your uh, card stock or heavy stock Alpha Strike Quick Start rules. This is fantastic. Breaks down the game for you in an easy, digest digestible format. And then you get even more terrain and card stock stuff here. So obviously trees uh, right there. And then your tokens. So there are status tokens here, objectives. This is fantastic. This has not been seen before in any of the starters for... Uh, Battletech. So it, it's a nice change. While you can use all of these uh, items for uh, Battletech, for classic Battletech, its main focus really is Battletech Alpha Strike. And that's really denoted by the terrain that has been provided in this two player starter. Great thing about this Alpha Strike set is you get 13 miniatures that spread across both the clans and uh, the inner sphere. So uh, there are a few new uh, mechs in this that have not been released before. Uh, I believe this is the Pouncer. And then uh, this is the Fire Moth. And here's the blackjack. This has been released before. This may be a new pose. It may not be. Got the wasp, which has been released before. And then next is the Nova. This has also been released before. Got another locust. This is new uh, mech as well. Uh, the wraith. Another Phoenix Hawk. Classic Timberwolf for Mad Cat. Got the big boy, the Atlas, or perhaps the Fatless. Got your Dire Wolf. Got a Warhammer here. And then finally, an Archer. So uh, you have a mix of old and new mechs in this. I believe some of these might have just different poses uh, that may or may not have been released before in Lance Packs or the other starters. But of note is the Pouncer, the Fire Moth, 
and the Wraith. Those are all new. I've not seen these before. So, all right. All right, we're going to take a closer look at the Alpha Strike cards. We have the Wasp 3W. On the other side, we have the Wasp 5A. Next up, we have the Locust 3M. On the other side, we have the Locust 7V. Blackjack 3. Blackjack 5. Phoenix Hawk 3K. And then the Phoenix Hawk 4M. We have the Wraith TR1. On the other side, Wraith TR5. We have the Archer 5R. And then the Archer 7C. Classic Warhammer 6R. And the Warhammer 8R. Atlas S. And then the S4. Firemouth D. Firemouth G. Pouncer Prime. Pouncer T. We have the Nova Prime. And the Nova T. And rounding off the cards, we have the Timberwolf Prime, Timberwolf T, and then the Warhawk C, Warhawk T. All right. All right, next up are the MechWarrior cards. We have Alfonso Nascimento. On the other side, we have Anthony Ryan. That's for the Locusts on both of those. Next, we have Shigeru Kikuchi. And then Kimberly Michelle for the Wasp. Next is Jezebel Youngblood. And then Sarah Beth for the Phoenix Hawk. Next is Gabriel Sammy Kwan, Andrea Andy Reich for the Blackjack. Next is Kristen Ravas, and then Rebecca Green for the Warhammer. We have Jacob Benfield, Robert Gregg for the Archer. Arlene Pellegrino and Jason Allen for the Wraith. Cassius McMillan. Kevin Street for the Atlas. Latello and Mila for the Firemouth. Krell Magnus. And Cecily for the Pouncer. We have Kalista. And then Gavin for the Nova. Derek. And Catherine for the Timberwolf. Lashta Scott. And Arlen Helmer for the Warhawk. So we're looking at the Battlefield support cards. I'm just going to go through these real quick. I'm not very familiar with them just yet. But as we do the play from the box, obviously we're going to start going through these cards. Uh, so these are this is just the uh, rule card. Okay. Can be found, found on page 29 of the Quick Start Rules, I would assume. So we have Light Strike. Light Strike. 
So we have a number of those. We have Heavy Strike. And we'll just flip through these real quick. Light Bombing. Heavy Bombing. Sorry guys, kind of hard to flip through these. We got Thumper. So obviously you have multiples of these cards. Sniper. And I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, definitely a new addition to Alpha Strike, or at least in a starter adds more flavor to your game. All right, guys, I wanted to circle back to the Alpha Strike Quick Start Rules reference card here. I think this is a fantastic addition to the two-player starter. Gives you guys, our new players, the ability to quickly reference uh, most of the major rules for the game itself. Uh, just like the uh, game of Armored Combat, you now have a... You have a one-stop shop to see where all the rules are as you're playing through the game. So definitely a great addition to the two-player start. Circling back to the fat stack of terrain that is now available for you as a new Battletech Alpha Strike player or even an experienced one. These are all cardstock. Just fold them up and tape them or glue them. Or you can just, um, you know, have them still be collapsible. Uh, this is a great way... To add terrain to your table especially if you don't have the right scale terrain already in your collection uh, this is more aimed towards uh, the new player who doesn't have any of these um, scale buildings so it makes it a fantastic way of being able to fill out your game table for Battletech Alpha Strike and as you can see there's quite a few different sized buildings here um, yeah, I'm not going to go through all this. I, I'm not going to assemble these right now, but uh, definitely going to add a lot more to my table. And for anybody who's new to Alpha Strike, great addition. So on top of that, you also get these cardstock trees, which again, adds more flavor to your table. They are double-sided. What you'll do is you'll pop this out and then it's companion piece and slot them together. I'm not going to pop these out just yet. You also get your objective objective markers as well as tokens which uh you don't normally get in uh battletech game of armored combat or in any of the alpha strike or battletech lances or clan packs great way to track uh the uh statuses of your mechs as you're going through the game so uh wonderful addition the, there's a lot of well thought out um, additions in this particular starter all right Lastly, we're going to finish up with the Alpha Strike Quick Start Rules. So initially with Alpha Strike, you could download Quick Start Rules from the Catalyst Games website. This is just a nice physical uh, way of having the rules. It's um, pretty much the same kind of texture and feel as the Game of Armored Combat rulebook, although slightly thinner uh, as we go through this. You'll see all your basic rules and how to get ready to play. You even have a scenario uh, where they want you to play that first. So it kind of gives you an idea of how Alpha Strike runs. Also tells you um, information on the buildings and stuff that are in there. Uh, nice, beautiful layout as with all their rules, uh, books, booklets that are out there. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a great way for a new player, especially to get into Alpha Strike. Um, it's very high quality. And there you have it, Catalyst Games Battletech Alpha Strike two-player starter. What a great addition to the Battletech catalog of starters and models and all that fun stuff. Uh, I believe that this is a great way, as a new player especially, to dip into Alpha Strike. And for anybody who's already experienced with Alpha Strike as a game system, great way to just add more mix and uh, as well as terrain and all that wonderful stuff. I will have a more in-depth review of this starter once I do a play from the box to see how... Um, it plays for new players as well as experienced players. But uh, considering what you're paying for this, and I believe it's retailing for $79.99, at least on Amazon, that's what it's retailing for, uh, you get a lot of value. You get 13 mechs, you get buildings and quick reference sheet and uh, cardstock terrain. It's, it's a wonderful way to get into Alpha Strike and definitely um, sets itself apart from a game of Armored Combat. So... Anyway, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get, get notified of all new Battletech unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I could personally interact with you and chit-chat you about Battletech and any other game that we cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Battletech from Wargaming Noob.